Hey there everybody, Aaron here with Gideon's Tactical. We are going to go test out today the Leatherman Sidekick. I believe that this is going to be a great you know, bridge from the light duty EDC type of multi-tools that Leatherman gives us into those medium duty, you know, uh, getting into possibly some hard use, more outdoor or, you know, uh, EMT law enforcement style, uh, you know, multi-tools. I believe the Sidekick is kind of that bridge between the EDC and then starting to get in those hard use ones like the Wave or the Super Tool. Uh, some of those other you know multi tools out there so let's go ahead and begin to do the field test on the Leatherman sidekick all right well let's go ahead and jump right on into this Leatherman sidekick give you some basic dimensions here for you it weighs seven ounces in my hand it is 3.8 inches long from tip to tip it's an inch and a half from side to side and it's half an inch thick so those are the basic dimensions of this sidekick on one side it has a pocket clip that is removable with a star driver right there you could take that off if you don't like the pocket clip I'll show you how the pocket clip looks in my pocket and how it rides all right so here's the pocket clip on the sidekick real nice uh, I mean it will show you know it's stainless so uh, it's not maybe the most you know hidden pocket clip but rides really well nice and strong very easy for me to grab and then deploy the knife do my EDC stuff real quick collapse it put it back into place and I can easily EDC this particularly you know around a campsite or around your workplace you know a job site or your home uh, you know that pocket clip is a really nice feature I really like it a lot I wish almost all their Leathermans would come like that because uh, it's just really easy to use EDC or Leatherman for the day and not have to worry about you know a leather pouch or a nylon pouch trying to fit it on your belt you know bulging out your shirt all that stuff pocket clip rocks on the sidekick and then on the other side of the pocket clip you have two tools that are able to, to be deployed without opening the Leatherman and I really like that feature. It's got a little hole there. You can't you know, like flick it open but you can easily move it open. There is the 420 high carbon steel hollow ground blade. The blade length is 2.6 inches long. Great for EDC use. I like that kind of reverse sheep's hoof tanto design got a little bit of belly there you know 420 necessarily isn't the best steel you know it's definitely a budget steel but uh, Leatherman does a good job very similar to what you get on buck knives you know so you can get it razor sharp real easy but uh, you know it is going to dull on you pretty quick uh, so that's great for EDC tasks and then it has the lock up right here it's a liner lock hits dead center that's got brass bushings as well so very nice lock up very secure no wiggle or play left right or up or down then you just push the liner lock out of the way and collapse your blade then on the other side you have a 420 high carbon saw this again is two point uh, six inches in length great double sided teeth uh, we'll test out here in just a moment again with another locking mechanism brass bushing so locked into place no blade play and then you can just move the lock out of the way collapse them so let's go ahead test out the knife first see how it cuts through all sorts of different materials all right let's do a little cardboard cutting with this leatherman tool here nice very very clean cuts going through this pretty thick cardboard that's a double run of cardboard there you know it's a little thicker than your average very smooth nice cuts now again this will dull on you you know pretty quick it's definitely not going to hold an edge say like your SOG you know flash 2 or uh, you know obviously higher quality knives but it should do all the same type of work any buck knife could before you'll have to resharpen it and again it's going to take that wicked edge real quick and can definitely do all of your you know basic EDC tasks cutting open cardboard boxes that type of stuff the sidekick is definitely going to be able to do that that nice 2.6 inch blade all right, so let's try the plain edge through some heavy duty nylon rope, see how it performs. Nice. Definitely gonna do a pretty clean cut there. That nice hollow grind. Slices right through that man-made material with this plain edge. So you can see this little blade can definitely do you know, you're carving and whittling and smaller, you know, detail work very easily. Nice hollow grind. You know, I'm able to kind of put my thumb up against the back right there and then rest it right over that, you know, eyelet that you use to deploy the knife. And then you can definitely, you can see there, going right through that pine. Really nice, real nice. Not too much effort at all. And I could get a stake, a spear, 
know, anything like that, or, you know, do more fine detailed work and, you know, get a shavings ready for a fire. But uh, nice little, you know, Carver Whittler, uh, the sidekick with its 2.6 inch blade. All right, so now that you've seen the knife, let's go ahead and test out the saw and see how that cuts through wood. All right, so here we go with the saw. Nice, this thing is just tearing right through this branch. Now, obviously this is not ideal, but you know, if this is all you got, maybe your fixed blade broke, or all you're carrying is your sidekick that day, you can definitely get some medium size, you know, about two inch branches. That's about the size of this branch that we're going through right here. Very easy, almost gone all the way through. Very, very nice. I could totally break it off now, but I'll just go all the way through so you can see it. Nice lock up as well with that liner lock, you know, so the blade isn't playing around or I'm worried about it collapsing if it, you know, binds up or something like that. That's not gonna happen. Nice, there we go. So in under a minute, we have been able to go through about a two inch little piece of wood there. So that saw works great for those little jobs that you might need a pocket saw for. All right, so on one of the arms of your Leatherman tool, you have your screwdrivers. You have a three-dimensional Phillips head screwdriver. You know, that's good. You can get some pretty detailed stuff as well as some pretty bigger, you know, larger screws that you can, you know, drive in or remove. And then you've got a really nice thick flat head uh, screwdriver as well. It's pretty thick, so it's going to be pretty difficult for you to get, you know, those really thin, fine screws, you know, that are flat heads. You might not be able to do that if they're really small, but bigger, larger ones you will be able to do, and it's really nice and thick that you can kind of use it almost as a pry bar. Definitely open, you know, paint cans, different things like that. Let's go ahead and test these two out, see how they perform. All right, here's the Phillips head, and we're going to just loosen up this screw some so you can see. Very easy to do. Gets right in there with that 3D Phillips head. like that a lot pulls it out really nice and smooth and then I can put it right back in. Feels just as comfortable as using any normal screwdriver, very easy to wield in your hand. Very, very nice, there we go. Nice and tight, that 3D Phillips works great. Then on the other arm of your sidekick, you have three different tools in a lanyard hole. This is the lanyard hole right here. It is, uh, you know, does swivel around if you do want to do that. You can, you know, collapse it if you want to and keep it away, or you can run a paracord lanyard through there if you so desire. Then you've got a two inch safety knife right here with just serrations, you know, so just a serrated blade basically. And then uh, you have your bottle cap opener and can opener, and then you have a one inch ruler. And on the other side is your kind of medium grit uh, file. So you could do some, you know, minor filing. It's not, you know, massive and huge. And again, you could do some more detailed uh, screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers right there. That's a little thinner uh, and a little smaller. So you can get those smaller flathead screwdrivers as well. So let's go ahead, kind of check these out, see how uh, the safety knife cuts and uh, kind of test this side of the sidekick out. All right, we've got the fully serrated kind of safety knife. We'll see how it does against the man-made materials now. Definitely can go a little bit better through the man-made materials than the plain edge. Not by much, but I can definitely, you know, get a little bit, I can just do it faster. It's easier, you know, it's sawn right through that man-made material and kind of has that rounded tip. So if you were cutting through a seat belt, you know, maybe or something like that, and you needed to be, you know, just safe and uh, not, you don't want to puncture something or you're opening packaging, you know, this would be definitely very good at that and can definitely go through the man-made materials a little bit better than your plain edge would do on your sidekick. Okay, here's the thinner flathead on the file side. You can see they're very easy to do, you know, a covering for your outlet. Screw back into place real quick. So your smaller screws, that little mini flathead works great on the file. Okay, so here we are on 12 gauge wire, copper wire. Very easy to use your sidekick to cut through that stuff. Very nice, easy to do. You know, not gonna damage your wire or anything like that. And I love that these are spring-loaded. That's what's really nice, is I like that spring-loaded feature, so it makes it very easy, you know, to cut really fast through all sorts of different size wire very easily. Really like that feature a lot. All right, so those wire cutters are great. They're gonna do a lot of work for you. The needle nose are perfectly aligned, nice and detailed, so you can get in there and you know do really detailed, fine work if you need to, lined up perfectly. And then you got the teeth, so you can work on your bolts you know, and, and loosen and tighten bolts of different sizes. 
you know, minor work. Again, this isn't, you know, uh, the, the teeth aren't like Klein's, you know, for cutting wire, you know, heavy, heavy duty wire. You know, they're just going to do mild to medium work, your uh, wire cutters. And the same is too with these, you know, with the teeth for the bolts is they're going to be able to do medium work. You know, they're not going to be able to do huge, massive, you know, bolts or anything like that. But the teeth can definitely grab medium to light duty bolts, you know, in size and, you know, tighten them or loosen them depending on what you need to do. So the actual, you know, pliers themselves just work really well for a lot of your medium to lightweight duty tasks on your sidekick. All right, guys. Well, as we bring the sidekick review to a close, I just want to show you these are the three multi-tools I have right now in the stable here getting his tactical and just kind of want to show you in my opinion the sidekick is kind of that bridge between just the really light duty EDC multi-tools like the wingman that we have over here to the medium grade Leathermans like the rebar over here you know the mid-range type of stuff that's what the rebar would be this is kind of the bridge that connects those two you know because Leatherman has a few of their EDC style ones you know the wingman is almost the exact same tool weighs the same fits the same the, the needle nose pliers are exactly the same. The screwdrivers are exactly the same. Uh, really the only difference between the sidekick and the wingman is that the, uh, the knife on the wingman is that has a serration whereas the sidekick is plain edge and then they replace the scissors on the wingman with the saw on the sidekick but that saw is exactly the same length and same steel as on the rebar uh, you know and then over here on this side they gave you on the sidekick that little safety knife and then they gave you this package opener on the wingman so again I would say the wingman is a great you know EDC around the home around town type of multi-tool and definitely light duty whereas the rebar I would say is definitely you know up there in the heavy duty you got the replaceable teeth you know and the the you get a couple more screwdrivers you get the full size safety knife you get a full size file you know those type of things and the sidekick's kind of the best of both worlds you can still carry EDC if you want you can carry it in your pocket around the campsite or whatever gives you almost all the tools you would need for all your daily tasks but at the same time, uh, it's just a little better quality in what they give you for kind of more the outdoor, you know, uh, maybe, you know, law enforcement, um, you know, e EMT type of stuff. The wingman, excuse me, the sidekick up here is a little bit better than the wingman, and it's not, but it's not quite as good a quality and got all the options that the rebar gives you. So I love the sidekick. It's a great little multi tool. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. This is going to go in my heavy duty multi day, you know, uh, hiking kit basically. This is going to go in just my day hiking kit, the sidekick will and then the wingman is around my house you know if i'm just doing tasks you know doing some construction around my home you know carrying it you know uh in, around the car you know if i'm doing some work on my car that type of stuff that's what the wingman will be for so that's how i view the sidekick is kind of the best of both worlds kind of a bridge getting from edc into the hard you know to medium use multi-tool so i hope this review has helped you guys out for, for 25 bucks, Sidekick is totally worth it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.